Hey everybody, this is Escape Fruit at 34. Uh, this is a video request by LSU Tigers 1010. Uh, he wanted me to do a review of my Kershaw Cyclone. So, this is a Cyclone. It's a, uh, overall length is 8.75 inches. Uh, the blade length is 3.75, and the handle is 5 inches. Uh, it's pretty big. It's a big knife. I mean, it's pretty heavy too. 6.3 ounces. It's big. Uh, very heavy. Uh, it's got the uh, reversible pocket clip. Not reversible. I mean, pocket clip can only be uh, right-handed only. Uh, you can put it from. It comes up here, in the top. But I put it down here because. I hate carrying it like that, so I just put it down here. Uh, the uh, the handle is, what is it, black anodized 6061 T6 aluminum. I don't know. I'm just reading off the website, but I know it's pretty pretty weird material. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but it has the uh, what are they, what they're called teeth or whatever. I don't know, but it's got them there. It's also got them. Well, kind of, it's got them on the, uh, what is it, the uh, liner lock, which, it's got a very, very nice liner lock, very solid knife, no blade play. Uh, one problem I did have with this knife, though, yeah, I don't think you can see it on camera, but it got wicked rusty. I'm talking, this thing was horrible. I mean, I fixed it up a little bit with uh, some Flitz metal polish, but it's still not the way it should be uh... even on the pocket clip yeah you can't make that out but on the pocket clip even had rust stains you know so it's it was horrible so i didn't get i wasn't able to get flipped metal polish for a while so it got really bad so it's not back the way it should be but oh well it's uh... i got the uh... partially serrated not my first choice but i didn't feel like waiting two months or whatever to get the plain edge, so I figured I'll just get the partially serrated. Uh, this was made in September 06. It says it right there, but I'm pretty sure you can't make that out. I don't know. Uh, we'll do some measurements though. Uh, as I said, the blade is what is it? Three? Yeah, it's about. Oh, I should probably show it. It's about three and a half. Uh, three point seven five inches. And the handle is, I don't know, I measure different than the website says. I measure eight and a half. I don't know. But, oh well. Uh, cool thing about this is, see a little wheel on the back right there? That switches on and off, which turns the speed safe on and off. Right now I have it on, so I'll close it. And then I'll flip it out fast but turn it off and the way this engages is when you turn it on or off it does it up when it's in the open position because there's little like a little rod in there that I don't know just when it opens it'll slide back and then another one will go down I don't know it's pretty cool so now it's off and see so yeah, I just flip it out and so I mean that's that was the biggest that was the biggest reason I bought this knife I thought that was the coolest thing, which it is really cool. Uh, it is speed safe, but it doesn't have a lock anywhere. I mean, you don't really need it though. I usually just carry it or store it with the uh, with it on the off position, so it doesn't go off my pocket or anything. But I don't know. The uh, thumb studs are big, pretty big. Uh, it's ambidextrous. That's cool. Got the little flipper on the back if you want to, even when it's off, you can do that. Or when the uh, speed safe is on, you can just use it to flip it out. Um, but overall, it's a really good knife. I love it. Just if you get it, just watch out for the steel. Uh, make sure you polish it off and everything. Make sure it doesn't get all rusty. But I mean, this is a big knife. I love it. Uh, but. Yeah, so that's my review. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, thanks. This is Skyfruit at 34.